on BBC Radio 2. It's my life. Now, my guests this morning have a very busy year ahead of them, including Radio 2's Piano Room Month final show. 23rd of February, take note, pop it in your diaries. Here to tell us all about that, but so much more. It's the Pet Shop Boys. Morning, Zoe. Good nice to be morning, here. morning, Chris and morning. Neil. How are you both? We're both very good. We've just had a conversation about whether you watched The Traitors or not. And I didn't, unfortunately. No, you didn't. But, but maybe I will at some point in the future, when everyone else is over it. You come to things late sometimes, <laughs> Neil. I was just like, I watched the film Chicago the weekend, which is 22 years old, and I was too sniffy to watch at the time. It's absolutely fantastic. The girls in it, they're amazing, they're aren't amazing. they? They're amazing. Running absolutely. in country and Zeta Jones. Yeah. Sometimes, yeah. though, it's good to come to things later. There you go. That's OK. I think you'd enjoy The Traitors, both of you. By the way, whilst you're here, have you seen the film All of Us Strangers? We had a screen <gasps> of it in December. You had a special screening. Because there's two of our songs are in it, and there's a club scene where I want a dog from yeah. 1988 is in, and then they use a sort of um, stripped down version of What's On My Mind, which we did release at the time. And the, the use of the song is very beautiful because it's part of the action of the film, that the family sing it together. And also the film is, is absolutely brilliant. Actually, it's astonishing that Andrew Scott hasn't got any... Yes, nominations. Noms. I know, because he's so, so good. I always find They're that with awards, good. though. He's Sometimes brilliant in everything, isn't he? He yeah. is amazing in everything. He really is. Well, they were in Paul and uh, Claire. They were all in last week, and Claire was talking about having to sing your song in front of the whole crew, and it makes her, like, wobble, having to sing in front of I wish of we'd everyone. written it. <laughs> yes, I think we'd written. We did, however, write Rent, which is in Saltburn. Yes, of course it is. You're in all the movies at the moment. <laughs> so, Do you know about these things, I guess, before the movies or the television shows go out, you have to give permission and stuff. Yes, you do. Okay, um, so it's never a surprise. With Always On My Mind, the record company actually gave them what we call The Stems, and uh, they sort of remixed it a bit. Oh. And that's the first time, because they wanted it to, to, to fit into their soundtrack sort of thing. And then in, with Rent in Saltburn, they actually sing it. It's karaoke. But it also is nice, because in Always On The Strangers, they go to Christmas Top of the Pops in 1987. <laughs> so we're actually very briefly in the film. <laughs> there you are as well. Yes. You're in it as well. It's yes. amazing. Well, we're very excited that you're here because you're not here just to chat about movies and telly. No. Uh, you have new music. What can you tell us? Uh, there's a new album coming in April. There's a new album coming out on, I think it's April 24th. You'd think I'd know, wouldn't you? And it's called Nonetheless. Is that this year? That is this year. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we are about, I think, to play the first single from it. We have the, what they would say in America, world premiere of the single, which is called Loneliness. OK. What can you tell us about the album? What about the feeling, the songs in it, the vibe? Chris shaking his head saying, don't look at me, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> the album I don't know what the answer is yet. I've got to hear it from Neil first, oh, and now I, I can repeat and then it. You have this is show. actually the first radio interview about it. Uh, well, we made it, it was written, a lot of it written during lockdown. So um, we wrote a ton of songs and uh, more or less every track, in fact every track has got an orchestra on it, but it's not like a mega orchestral album, but it's, it's a very melodic sort of album. Our last three albums have been strictly electronic and this one we've gone back to um, using an orchestra, but also of course with, with electronics. Okay, of course you only could have some electronics at Pet Shop Boys. It sounds amazing. We don't have long to wait. April the 26th, I do 26th believe it's April. out. Yes. Excellent. We're going to play a, a single from it now. Uh, what can you tell us about Loneliness? Loneliness is the last track we wrote for the album. Chris sent me this very beautiful track over and I already had this, probably inspired by the lockdown situation, this lyric about loneliness, which fitted with it very well. And it's quite an up sounding song with a lyric that starts off sad, but it turns around at the end. Let's hear it. Oh, this is fantastic. Brand new. Uh, first time. Is this first time anywhere in the world? First time, as I said, world premiere. World premiere recording. Oh, yeah. what a treat. <laughs>
got euphoric recall. That is fantastic. I'm tingly. I should have said. straight out. It is kind of a dance track as well. It is a dance track. That is amazing. And I hadn't heard that until I played it then. So that was quite a moment for us. Uh, Quite a moment for us. Chris, how does it sound through your headphones, your rubbish BBC headphones here in the studio? Oh, no, it sounds fantastic. Uh, That's particularly up, sort of disco flavoured number from the album. Okay, and is that a good taster from what to expect from the album? Well, it's, say? it's not just that, there's all sorts on there. But two or three dance tracks and then there's some more reflective stuff and... Um but it all has that sort of tonal quality. That's quality. the word, quality. It, it has which got a quality, quality. Expect from yes. your boys. Also, you've got loads of festivals in the diary for this year. I always think that's a great way to hear you guys outdoors, surrounded by people. It's great. It's yeah. just joy. It's Glastonbury, amazing. Um, We've got, we're headlining the Isle of Wight on yes, this Saturday night. Yes, of course night. you are. Oh, um, Saturday, it's the best night, Isle of Wight, Saturday yeah, night. Yeah, actually, I've not been to Isle of Wight Festival before. The oh. last time we were there was... Um, Festival, yeah, yes. on the Isle of Wight. We nearly missed the boat over as well, actually. Oh, and it was um, the last boat. It was the last boat, and luckily they kept it for us. Oh. Um, but we were, if we were all of us charging down that long pier to get onto the boat, saying, Wait. "Hold that boat!" Yeah. Hold that so boat. We, so we nearly missed our first headline slot there. And will there be any other shows this year? Well, we've been doing this greatest hit show for a couple of years now. We're actually going to change a couple of songs around this year. Um, we're also though playing. Five Nights at the Royal Opera House. I know, this is wonderful. We, um, at the end of July. That's uh, an exclusive, by the way. I knew that because someone told me, but yes. none of you knew I that. Always, I always didn't dare say it because <laughs> it's been exclusive for so long. Uh, yeah, and we've, we've done it before on the previous tour. We actually started at the Royal Opera House and uh, we're doing Five Nights this time. And it's great because the Royal Opera House is a very important venue for the arts. A lot of people, I think, never get to go into it. And so one of the reasons we like to do it, and one of the reasons they like us to do it, is it brings a totally different audience in. So you can go in there, you can have the smoked salmon sandwiches <laughs> and the champagne, and you sit in the red velvet, but you get pumping electronic music rather than Puccini or something. That's such a lovely idea. You're so right, because and you would sort of think that people would think, oh, no, you only go there if you're into opera and if you're not yeah. into opera, but it is an amazing venue. And there are so many venues across the country that are like that, that people might think, oh, they don't do my sort of thing in there. So it's a wonderful yeah. idea. Yeah, no, it to is. Do that. It's, it's great. And uh, also, I must point out at this point, because there's so many fans listening, the album nonetheless is coming out on the 26th of April, but if you pre-order, you can get access to priority tickets for the five shows at the Royal Opera. Uh, uh, Royal. You're very well informed. Thank you. I know. Look at that. I can't read my own writing. It's like doctor's handwriting. Uh, the London Royal Opera House. Um, so lots and lots to be busy about. Also, something else that's rather exciting. If people aren't able to catch up on your tour, they can see the you in film. cinemas. <gasps> Dun, dun, dun. Uh, we filmed the show in the uh, in Copenhagen, the Royal Arena in Copenhagen, and then our manager said, "Oh, it's going to be on at cinemas." We were like, "Oh, okay." And then we, months later, we said, "What's the cinema thing?" <laughs> I sort of did, was skeptical about it, and, and it's actually on twelve hundred cinemas around the world tonight. Tonight. <gasps> um, so if you go on the website or social media, you get yeah. a link and it tells you where the, you know, where the the nearest cinema in West Bromwich or something is. And uh, and then it's on again on February the 2nd. Okay, um, so if you're thinking you're going to have a quiet night in tonight and you're feeling like you just want to have a, some elation, some singing and dancing, well, so check cinemas, out. Cinemas, cinemas are so nice oh, nowadays. I you know. know. You can get a glass of white wine and I went to one people in are going to be dancing in the aisles. Yeah, I went to one in Arkfield, they've got like waitress service. I they would do it in get a little table. Yeah, it's I'm saying I don't want a is pizza. That not, just a, <laughs> I don't want just, a pizza. It's a bit annoying though when someone serves a, a pizza and that's to everyone has to stand up to let the waitress go past. Well, no, this was quite small and they just sort of went along and it was before the film, so yes. you don't. It's oh, not it's not during up. the film. Oh, no, I mean, we're oh, not right, that that would be annoying, it? Yeah. for goodness sake. I mean, I don't think people should eat popcorn in the cinema, so. Oh, pizza don't would really start get on that argument there. again. <laughs> They'll be on 88291. Have your say. <laughs> <laughs> um, but this is really rather brilliant. By the way, when you're on tour, Chris, we must talk about your famous. Backstage bed. I don't go anywhere without a flat bed. Yeah. Um, on the last tour, it was, inflate, it was a self-inflating bed. Um, I think it got... Oh, actually, by the end of the tour, though, it, it was literally deflated. Um, <laughs> so we're going to have to get a new one for this leg. It looks Neil a bit, had one, but I don't think you ever used it. I never it, used it. Um, it looks a bit like a student bedroom. 
<laughs> does it smell is, like a student bedroom no, by the end of the tour? It doesn't. No, no. I think it's probably a smelly candle. But on the door, it has a sign saying Chris Nap Room. How long is the perfect Nana Nap, would you say, Chris? Well, as, as long as possible. <laughs> I mean, I normally get up and go have breakfast and go back to bed. Yeah. That's what I normally do. Oh, um, nice. So God, I wish I could do any, that. Any time I One can possibly though. lie down, I'll be asleep. <laughs> Maybe sooner than you I'm think. Like, I'd be like a dog, really. Um, if there's nothing happening, I'm asleep. <laughs> You know, someone like Mick Jagger does a workout for the show. Yeah. I, even I do a few singing exercises. OK. Chris has to be woken up to do the show. And he comes in the dressing room, bleary-eyed. Oh, it's, 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 it's actually it's quite funny. I think it's adorable. And then you're on the stage and you would never have any idea as well. Uh, I'm also, to join the show as well. <laughs> Hence the glasses. And you would never know. Um, you are going to be doing Piano Room Month. You're doing the final performance we are, yeah. uh, with Vern Down and Maida Vale. Uh, what can you reveal at this point? Well, we're doing three songs, because that's yeah. what you do. We're doing Loneliness. Yes. That we've yes, just heard. Single. With the BBC Console Orchestra, who we've worked with several times before, actually. And then we're doing an old song. But let's not say what it is. It okay. doesn't matter. Surprise. And then we're doing a cover version, but we're not going to say what it is. Okay. But it was written by David Bowie. Was it easy to agree on what the cover version would be? Well, Chris announced what it was, and I agreed. Uh, perfect. <laughs> That's that, how it works. that is how every good marriage works, uh, even a banned marriage. Uh, loneliness is out now for digital download. Uh, the album, nonetheless, will be out on the 26th of April. For all the details about tickets for a special run of shows at the Royal Opera House, go to petshopboys.co.uk and cinemas tonight or next week as well. Uh, boys, what a treat to see you. Lovely to be Worth getting up for. Yeah, oh, yes. thank you. Yeah. Especially for you. Now he's going to go back to bed. He's going to go, go back, back to, back to bed. bed, isn't he, Chris? <laughs> Listen, that's a show from Luxury of My Bed. <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank you.